Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India extraction processes, we will learn something new in this lecture number 9, innovative methods of extraction for natural dyes. This is a completely different set of methods which we will learn in this. In order to standardize the extraction process, it is important to understand what are the other innovative methods. The extraction of dyes from natural sources. The extraction of dyes from natural sources may be one of the most significant phases in the treatment of textiles to obtain the required dyeing qualities. Furthermore, creating a standard extraction process or procedure and optimizing that extraction variables for a certain natural source is economically significant and as a result impacts the price of the end products. Many bioactive components are extracted using aqueous or methanol or ethanol or water. Of course, water and aqueous remains the same. Natural dye extraction is also a complicated procedure as natural coloring elements are not a, a single compound and that we have seen in the previous lectures. And the plant matrix also comprises of a range of non dye plant components. So, it is a challenge from a plant matrix to dig out the natural dye it is a challenge. Solubility properties of natural colorants then becomes very important. Before using an extraction procedure, the nature and solubility properties of coloring components must be determined very clearly. To extract dye from its source, they must use a specialized process. Following are some of the ways of extracting natural colorants from their source. The following are some ways of extracting natural colorants from their source material, such as aqueous extraction method, solvent extraction method, enzymatic extraction techniques, supercritical fluid extraction and ultrasonic extraction techniques which are currently being used widely and have been researched for their superior efficacy over older procedures. <coughs> How to increase the extraction efficiency? Now, this is one of the major challenge that one faces in extraction of natural dyes. To increase extraction efficiency, the dye containing material is first broken into small pieces or powdered or pulverized and filtered. It is then immersed in water in metal containers, preferably stainless steel for a long amount of time, usually overnight to break down the cell structure before being boiled to extract the dye solution, which is then filtered to remove the non dye plant remnants. The boiling and filtering step is repeated to remove as much color as feasible. The color yield may be determined by filtering the extraction fluid using a normal filtration process followed by solvent evaporation, washing and finally drying to get the purely natural colorant in hand. 
The disadvantage of this extraction approach during the boiling process some of the dye may decompose. As a result only dyes that do not break down at boiling temperatures are suitable and acceptable for this procedure. The molecule should be soluble in water. It includes a long extraction time, a huge amount of water is required, the usage of high temperature and limited dye yield since only water soluble components are extracted, but many dyes have low water solubility. So, they cannot be extracted by this process. So, what it means that how do we find a method which can help to extract most of the colorant and because many colorants are also heat sensitive, they cannot be extracted at boiling temperature of water. So, all these things the nature of the compound the type of plant part should be kept in mind because unless and until we have some idea of the colorant molecule, we will not be able to use an efficient method which is most appropriate for that plant part. Acid and alkali extraction also helps which we did not di discuss in the previous lecture acid and alkali extraction. The majority of natural colors are present as glycosides, which may be extracted either in acidic or alkaline conditions. Acidic extraction means that when you try to extract a plant material in acid, it hydrolyzes. Particularly, it has been used for the extraction of tesu flowers which is a natural dye and the acidic hydrolysis process helps to get the colorant out of the vacuoles of the cell. Alkaline extraction has also been practiced in many cases and is appropriate with dyes which have phenolic group in their structure, particularly quercetin which is present in onion skin or myrobalan. So, all the hydroxy containing components or molecules which have oxochromes of OH are most suited for alkaline extraction as well. There is also a possibility of using certain enzymes for the extraction of colorants. In the recent years, there has been a lot of interest in employing enzymes to extract natural useful chemicals from plants. A variety of approaches have been taken to the preparation and coloring operations of cotton, wool and other material filaments using natural dyes using various types of enzyme. They discovered that enzymatic treatment resulted in the extraction of natural colorants. In all situation, there is an increase in colorant absorption. In moderate conditions, the enzymatic extraction technique can be utilized to increase extraction efficiency by breaking down the plant cell wall and membrane and allowing the colorant to extract and would prove to be an improved extraction of the active compound and here it is the natural dye. What it means that these enzymes, particular enzymes, not each and every enzyme can do this function are responsible for the breakage of the plant cell walls where within which is the colorant residing. And when the cell wall or the membrane is ruptured, then the color can be obtained or it can come out. So, many plants, many flowers have this uh, possibility where enzymatic assisted extraction can be taken. So, it is one of the most innovative 
latest technology where enzyme assisted extraction is done. Now, why am I using all these superlatives? Because enzymes work at an ambient temperature, they do not need too much of en energy, they can be created by pet uh, biotechnological processes very easily and therefore, their availability is uh, there. So, one can use instead of using hazardous uh, solvents like methanol, ethanol, acetone, etcetera, one can go for innovative enzyme assisted extraction. Enzyme assisted extraction is an innovative and environmentally friendly method for extracting natural dyes from various plants, animals or microbial sources. Enzymes are biological catalysts that can break down the cell walls and enhance the release of the bioactive compound including natural dyes. Here is how enzyme assisted extraction can be applied to obtain natural dyes. So, selection of proper enzyme is very crucial. Now, as I mentioned a while ago that not every enzyme will help you to extract the natural colorant. Choose enzymes that are specific to the target source material. For plant based dyes, cellulase, pectase, pectinase, protease enzymes may be very suitable. Preparation of the raw material Clean and finely chop or grind the plant source material to increase the surface area for enzymatic action. Now, as we know, that when we increase the surface area, the reaction gets facilitated faster than putting it in aggregate or in larger chunk. So, that those things have to be kept in mind. Enzyme treatment needs to be done in a proper manner. Mix the chopped ground material with a buffer solution and, and, and add selected enzyme. Why buffer? Because enzymes work at a particular mild pH. It cannot sustain or these enzymes cannot remain active if the pH is very high and therefore, or very low. So, therefore, the pH has to be selected very carefully. Maintain optimal condition for enzyme activity including temperature and pH according to the enzyme specification. So, the temperature and pH has to be maintained and a buffer solution helps to maintain the pH. Whatever is the enzyme specification must be followed. Allow the enzymatic reaction to proceed for a specified duration. That means, if it takes 15 minutes or 30 minutes, you have to allow that much time to happen. Extraction process after enzyme treatment, filter the mixture to separate the liquid extract from the solid residues. The filtrate contains the natural dye released from the source material due to the enzymatic action. So, once you have that liquid or the filtrate in hand, you have the natural dye with you. There are several advantages of enzyme assisted extraction. Selective extraction, enzymes can be selective for specific substrate breakdown minimizing unwanted byproducts. They are run at a very mild condition. Enzymatic processes often occur under mild conditions preserving the quality of the extracted compound. Environmentally friendly, enzymes are biodegradable and can be sourced sustainably making this method environmentally friendly. And as, as I told you that biotechnological methods have been developed to make these enzymes available. So, we have to keep these things in mind because enzymes are very sensitive chemicals. Their pH and temperatures have to be maintained and therefore, buffer has to be used. 
one enzyme is selective for only a specific substrate. It is not a general compound that can be used. It is not like any acid can work, any alkali can work. Enzymes are very specific in nature. They are almost like lock and key. Just the way not every key can open every lock, similarly not every enzyme will work for every uh, you know substrate and they are at mild condition. Therefore, one has to remember all these points before dealing with that. There are certain challenges also associated, the cost of the enzyme. Enzymes can be expensive and so optimizing their use is crucial for cost effective extraction. Now, if we are giving a method for artisans or natural dye practitioners that look here is a method which is very safe to use. You can use at ambient temperature, you can use at uh, you know a mild pH and all that. We also have to keep in mind the cost effectivity. It is slightly on the expensive side and optimization complexity. There is a you know finding an optimal condition for enzymatic reaction or activity can be quite time consuming. So, a lot of permutation combination has to be done, then only we can say that okay, this enzyme is suitable for this particular substrate. So, enzyme assisted extraction of natural dyes is a promising approach that combines the principle of green chemistry and sustainable practices for obtaining high quality dyes from renewable resources. Undoubtedly, it is one of the most safe, environmentally, ecologically safe and sustainable practice, because these enzymes are also generated from biomaterials, they are biodegradable and therefore, it completely befits into the principles of green chemistry and sustainable practices. Therefore, it is highly recommended despite the fact that they are slightly expensive. Now, enzyme assisted extraction in this method, it is beneficial for extracting colorants from hard plant materials such as barks, roots and so on. It is an effective approach for isolating dyes from the examined materials since it greatly lowers extraction time when compared to the traditional system and environmental friendliness. So, one of the attributes of enzyme assisted extraction is that it is definitely faster because it takes lower extraction time and definitely it is sustainable and follows the principle of green chemistry. So, it is environmentally friendly. This technique can also decrease the quantity of solvent used and the amount of energy consumed. As a result, enzymatic assisted extraction has been proposed as an alternative way of extracting the natural product. So, it has some more advantage other than being in environmentally friendly, other than having shorter extraction time. It is also using less of solvent and lesser amount of energy is consumed. In today's time, any process which is uh, being proposed for general use need to have at least three factors very clearly described, whether the process is sustainable, whether it is available, whether it is you know eco friendly and then only people are ready to accept because with the growing pollution problem people are becoming more and more aware of the fact that 
we should not add any more pollutant to the environment and enzymes are definitely biodegradable. Therefore, they are most accepted in extraction processes as compared to the solvents which we discussed a while ago. <coughs> Among other innovative methods of extraction, of course, there are plenty of them, but I would just give a small overview. Extracting natural dyes from various sources can be done using innovative methods to enhance efficiency and sustainability. The bottom line of every extraction process is that it should be better than the previous one in terms of its enhanced efficiency and it should be sustainable. Traditional methods often involve boiling or soaking the raw material in water or solvent, but modern techniques or the innovative techniques like sonication, microwave assisted extraction and freeze drying offer advantages in terms of speed, yield and environmental impact. So, what it boils down to that we have to keep in mind many things when we are looking for an innovative method of extraction and those are how much time it is taking, how much yield it is giving and whether it is environmentally having any impact that means whether it is biodegradable and these factors are becoming more and more important because they leave an impact. So, talking about sonication method which we have discussed in the previous lecture, but still I will go through it once again to make you understand the process. Ultrasonic wave create cavitation bubbles leading to forming micro jets and micro bubbles and shock waves which help break cell walls and enhance the extraction of the compound. And the procedure is finely ground source material is taken, it is mixed with suitable solvent and it is subjected to ultrasonic waves for a specific duration which is 15 to 30 minutes and it is filtered and the extract is then obtained as dye solution. This is how the sonicator machine looks like. So, you can keep the conical flask in this meshed, meshed tray. The advantage of using sonicator, it is faster extraction due to increased mass transfer. It has improved yields compared to traditional methods, reduced solvent and energy consumption very appropriate for heat sensitive natural colorants like sapon wood, less solvent required for extraction, both alcoholic and aqueous extraction are possible and least maintenance required for the sonicator. So, you can see that it is a very rugged machine where it is faster, it has good yield from this as compared to the traditional method and very less solvent is required, very less energy because it only works on 50 kilowatt and that too only for 15 to 30 minutes and the frequency is 20 kilohertz. So, it is not consuming too much of energy by itself and yet it is efficiently extracting the plant material in shorter period of time. Ultrasound assisted extraction has many advantages. It, the ultrasound assisted extraction is a technique used in various fields including food processing, pharmaceuticals, environmental analysis and biofuel production. Some of the benefits of ultrasound assisted extraction include that it has an extra 
extremely good efficiency, increased extraction efficiency. Ultrasound waves cause cavitation which generates micro bubbles in the solvent. These bubbles collapse near the plant material creating a localized high pressure and temperatures. This enhances the mass transfer processes leading to improved extraction efficiency compared to traditional methods. Reduced extraction time. The enhanced mass transfer achieved through ultrasound assisted extraction allows for faster extraction rates. This reduction in extraction time can be significant leading to high productivity and low energy consumption. So, it has many advantages, more advantages or benefits of using ultrasound assisted extraction is that preservation of bioactive compounds and that we saw in the case of wood. Ultrasound assisted extraction is a gentle technique that can help preserve sensitive compounds such as vitamins, antioxidants and phytochemicals and natural dye is one of the phytochemicals. The shorter extraction times and lower temperature compared to conventional methods minimize thermal degradation and oxidation of these compounds. Selectivity Ultrasound assisted extraction can be adjusted to optimize the extraction of specific compounds by varying parameters such as frequency, power and extraction time. So, there is a possibility of manipulating some of the parameters, physical parameters of the machine that is the frequency power and the extraction time can be manipulated. This selectivity allows for the targeted extraction of desired components while minimizing the extraction of unwanted materials. Environmentally friendly because it is as compared to conventional extraction methods that require larger quantities of organic solvents and generate waste, ultrasound assisted extraction typically uses lower solvent volumes and generates less waste. This makes it a more environmentally friendly option aligning with the green extraction principle. So, you see it is sustainable, it is following the green chemistry principle and therefore, ultrasound is one of the best currently for the extraction of colorants. More benefits are also associated with ultrasound assist assisted extraction. Scalability, ultrasound assisted extraction can be easily scaled up for industrial applications without significant modifications. This scalability makes it suitable for both small scale laboratory research and large scale industrial production. In many cases, we are not able to scale it up because it is only meant for small scale extraction, whereas ultrasound machine can be used for bigger quantities as well. Versatility, ultrasound assisted extraction can be applied to a wide range of materials including plant extracts, herbal medicines essential oils, proteins and bioactive compounds. Its versatility makes it a valuable tool in various industries for extracting diverse type of substances. So, it is not just for meant for only natural dyes, but it can be it is a versatile machine. So, it can you know extract plant materials for herbal medicine purpose, for essential oils, for proteins, for bioactive compounds like antioxidants and other compounds. Improved product quality. 
The gentle nature of ultrasound assisted extraction helps maintain the integrity and quality of extracted compounds. This can result in higher quality products with better sensory attributes, nutritional value and functional properties. That means, the product does not get destroyed and that is one very, very important fact and benefit of ultrasound assisted extraction. Because in most of the cases we saw when we were talking about aqueous extraction that it has to be overheated. Similarly, when we were talking about succulate, it had to be overheated and for almost like I mean 5 to 8 hours the material was boiled with the solvent. All those things are completely not required in the case of sonicator. So, overall we can say that ultrasound assisted extraction offers numerous advantages over traditional extraction methods making it a valuable technique for various application in research, industry and product development. Then we come to microwave as ex assisted extraction. The principle lies that microwave energy heats the solvent causing it to boil and promoting the release of the dye compound from the source material. And the procedure is that combine the source material and solvent in a microwave safe container, apply microwave energy for a controlled period, filter the extract to obtain the dye solution. Advantages is that it is rapid extraction, saving time, high yields compared to conventional methods, reduce solvent usage, but of course, it is expensive. Microwave assisted extraction is a method that utilizes microwave energy as the name suggests. To facilitate the extraction of compounds from the plant materials including natural dyes. Here are some of the benefits of microwave extraction for natural dyes. It is definitely faster extraction which means that microwave extraction typically requires significantly less time compared to conventional con extraction methods. The rapid heating provided by microwaves can lead to faster extraction rates reducing processing time and increase productivity. So, because of the fastness of the extraction process, there is increased productivity and that is and also the extraction is very efficient. Higher extraction efficiency, microwave energy can penetrate the plant material and cause rapid heating leading to increased diffusion rates and enhanced mass transfer of dye molecules from the plant matrix into the solvent. This higher extraction efficiency results in greater yields of natural dyes compared to traditional extraction method. So, because of that it has higher extraction efficiency. There are several benefits associated with microwave assisted extraction reduce energy consumption because it is a faster process. So, microwave extraction often requires lower energy input compared to conventional extraction methods such as oxalate or maceration. The focused and selective heating provided by microwaves can minimize energy wastage making the process more energy efficient. Preservation of bioactive compound. Now, this is also a very important point. Microwave extraction operates at lower temperatures and shorter extraction times. 
compared to the conventional methods, which helps to preserve thermally sensitive compounds present in natural dyes. This can result in extracts with high levels of bioactive compounds and better overall quality. Selectivity is also one of the advantages of microwave. Microwave extraction parameters such as power, temperature and extraction time can be optimized to selectively extract specific materials, natural dye material compounds while minimizing the extraction of unwanted components. This selectivity allows for the production of natural dye extracts with tailored properties and characteristics. Now, here because of the selectivity, we can say that we can program a microwave uh, assisted extraction program such that only the dye can be extracted and that is an added advantage. They are obviously more eco friendly, environmentally friendly because everything is happening in the closed sealed with less volumes of solvents and therefore, they generate less waste. Microwave extraction typically uses lower volumes of solvent and generate less waste compared to traditional extraction methods. The reduced solvent consumption and shorter extraction times contribute to lower environmental impact, making microwave extraction a greener alternative. Scalability. Microwave extraction can be easily scaled up for industrial application. Without significant modification to the equipment or process parameters. This scalability makes it suitable for both small scale laboratory research as well as large scale production of natural dyes. Now, this is one very big advantage that we have with sonicator and microwave that the extraction processes are suitable for both small scale laboratories research as well as large scale production. Because when we are giving innovative technologies to the dyers, we have to give it for both the purposes. So, that you know it is not just meant for laboratory research that you can use microwave. Of course, you will have to buy a bigger microwave with bigger containers. So, that they can accommodate more plant material. Improved color stability. Now, that is also one of a very added attribute. The rapid heating and shorter ex extraction times associated with microwave extraction can help preserve the color stability of the natural dyes. By minimizing degradation reactions, that may occur during prolonged exposure to heat and light. Overall, we can say that microwave extraction offers several advantages for extracting natural dyes, including faster extraction rates, higher efficiency, reduced energy consumption and improved preservation of the bioactive compounds that is the natural dyes. The structures do not get decomposed. These benefits make microwave extraction a promising technique for the extraction of natural dyes in various industries including textiles, cosmetics and food industry. There is a method which we developed in our laboratory which is called freeze dyeing. Of course, it is known for other purposes, but nobody had used it for extraction of natural dye. The freeze dyeing principle involves freezing the extract and then removing the ice through sublimation leaving behind the concentrated dye. And the procedure is 
that the extract to extract the dye using a suitable method, freeze the extract to form ice crystal, apply vacuum and heat to sublimate the ice and leaving the dried dye behind. The advantages are it maintains the integrity of heat sensitive compounds. The advantages are it maintains the integrity of heat sensitive compounds, produces dry and stable product, allows for easy storage and transportation. Now, this is a very big advantage when the heat sensitive compound retains its integrity and it is produced in dry and stable product, no need to dry any further and it can be stored and transported easily because now it is in the powder form. Freeze dyeing which was also known as lyophilization is not a new technology, but it is new in terms of using it as an extraction method in natural dyes. It is a method commonly used for extraction and preservation of natural dyes. Here are some of the benefits of freeze drying as a method of extraction for natural dyes. Preservation of bioactive compounds that means freeze drying involves freezing the sample followed by drying under reduced pressure which helps to preserve the bioactive compound present in natural dyes. This method minimizes heat exposure and oxidation thereby maintaining the integrity and bioactivity of the extracted compound and particularly we are talking about natural dyes. Retention of color and aroma. Freeze dyeing preserves the color and aroma of the natural dyes better than other drying methods such as air drying or oven drying. The low temperature used in freeze drying prevent thermal degradation of pigments and volatile compounds ensuring that the final product retains its original color and aroma and especially this is applicable for henna. If you have noticed mehendi has a particular odor and a particular color of course and this is a one example which is very well suited for extraction by freeze drying as it preserves the color as well as the aroma. There are several benefits of freeze drying extraction method. Improved shelf life which is a very major factor. Freeze dried materials and freeze dried natural dyes have an extended shelf life compared to dyes dried using other methods. The low moisture content achieved through freeze drying inhibits microbial growth and enzymatic reactions helping it to prevent from spoilage and maintain the quality of the dry over time. That means it has a very advantageous situation because the microbes will not infect and the enzymatic reaction that degrades the dye through microbial interaction will be prevented. <coughs> Enhanced reconstitution, freeze dyed natural dyes have excellent reconstitution properties meaning they can be easily rehydrated and dissolved in various solvents or water to form a concentrated dye solution. This allows for convenient storage, transportation and use of the dye in various applications. So, you see there is another advantage because they can be re, it is dry powder. Now, dry powder can be rehydrated and dissolved and 
during the dying period it can be used very easily. This allows the convenience in storage and transportation. So, this is also an added because transporting a liquid dye is quite cumbersome. Handling a semi solid dye which is pro you know more prone to microbial attack is also prevented by freeze drying extraction method. Minimal loss of volatile compounds as I said a while ago that it retains the aroma. So, freeze drying preserves the volatile compounds present in natural dyes by minimizing their loss during the drying period or process. This is particularly important for dyes derived from aromatic plants as it helps to retain their characteristic fragrance and flavor and specially it is applicable for mint or for tulsi and for many other you know strongly aroma compound which are also colorants. There are more benefits of freeze drying method, uniform particle size and structure. In freeze drying technique, it produces dried powder with uniform particle size and structure resulting in improved solubility and dispersibility of the natural dye in so any solvent where we need to dissolve it. This facilitates the incorporation of the dye into various formulations such as cosmetic, food products and textile. So, the moment we have uniform particle size, it is very well suited because very fine powders are required for food products or cosmetics, not so much for the textile because textile is a little cruder version of its in terms of its utility. Environmental friendliness. Freeze drying is considered as an environmentally friendly method of extraction compared to some of the drying methods that may require high energy consumption or use of chemical additives. The process typically involves minimal use of energy and produces little or no waste, makes it a sustainable option for natural dye extraction. And it comes lastly that it is very versatile, freeze dried natural dyeing can be easily stored and transported making them suitable for a wide range of application in industries such as textile, cosmetics, food and pharmaceuticals. The concentrated form of dye allows for precise dosing and formulation control, enabling tailored solution for specified needs. So, overall we can say that freeze drying offers numerous benefits for the extraction of natural dyes including preservation of bioactive compounds, retention of color and aroma, extended shelf life and enhanced reconstitution properties. These advantages make freeze drying a preferred method of extracting and preserving natural dyes for various industrial and commercial applications. Now, there are other combined methods as well. So, the synergistic approach of two or more innovative methods can enhance the extraction efficiency furthermore. For example, sonication followed by freeze drying can capitalize on the benefits of both the techniques. Here the purpose is to effectively extract the colorant from the plant part. As the colorant are embedded in the vacuoles of the cells of the plant part, sometimes it is quite challenging to extract the colorant. So, if we combine two methods, the two methods put together and their synergistic effect can make it even better extraction process. We then move on to 
something called green solvents. Consideration is now very important when we are talking about sustainability and eco-friendliness. Instead of conventional solvents, eco-friendly and bio-based solvents can be employed to align with sustainable practices and green chemistry principles. For example, supercritical carbon dioxide or ethanol from renewable sources are some of the examples. When implementing these methods, it is crucial to optimize parameters such as time, temperature, solvent type and source material concentration to achieve the best results. Additionally, considering the environmental impact and sustainability of the chosen method is essential for overall eco-friendliness of the dye extraction process. So, now slowly people are moving towards using green solvent and supercritical carbon dioxide is one of them. Ethanol from renewable sources that is bioethanol is also one of the you know green solvent which can be recommended for extraction of natural dyes. There are several benefits of using green solvents. Using green solvents for the extraction of natural dyes offer several benefits aligning with the principles of sustainability, environmental friendliness and health safety. And here are some of the key benefits that it is environmentally sustainable. Green solvents are typically derived from renewable sources or have low environmental impact compared to the conventional solvents derived from petrochemicals. Using green solvents, it reduces the reliance on fossil fuels and minimizes the carbon footprint associated with the extraction process, contributing to environmental sustainability. So, overall when we look at it, we try to understand that what are we trying to achieve. It is not only just the cost, the time, the effectivity, we are also responsible for environmental sustainability. Reduce toxicity, that means green solvents are often less toxic and pose lower health risk to both the workers and the consumers compared to the conventional solvents. By using solvents that are biodegradable and non-toxic, the extraction process becomes safer for workers and reduces the potential for environmental contamination. Now, toxicity is also one very big factor because unless we consider reduced toxicity, we cannot attain environmental friendliness or sustainability. Hence, we have to keep these points in mind and because green solvents have these benefits, they are well aligned with the sustainability and green chemistry principles. There are more benefits of green solvents that is it is it has improved safety green solvents typically have lower volatility and flammability compared to conventional solvents, reducing the risk of accidents and ensuring a safer worker environment. This is particularly important in industries where solvents are handled on a large scale, such as food processing, pharmaceuticals and cosmetics and not so much in terms of textile. Health benefits, extracts obtained using green solvents are less likely to contain harmful residues or contaminants, promoting consumer safety and health. Green solvents help ensure that natural dyes extracted for use in food, cosmetics and pharmaceuticals meet stringent safety and quality standards enhancing consumer confidence in the product. Compatibility with green extraction techniques, green solvents are often compatible with 
other green extraction techniques such as ultrasound assisted extraction, microwave assisted extraction and supercritical fluid extraction. Combining green solvent with green extraction methods further enhances the sustainability and environmental friendliness of the extraction process. More benefits of using green solvent is that it has regulatory compliance. The use of green solvents aligns with regulation and guidelines aimed to reduce environmental impact of industrial processes. It is cost saving. While the initial cost of the green solvents may be higher than that of the conventional solvent, their use can lead to cost saving in the long run. Green solvents typically require less energy for recovery and disposal, reduce waste treatment costs and may offer opportunities for process optimization and efficiency improvement. Overall, green chemistry solvents for the extraction of natural dyes offer numerous benefits including environmental sustainability, improved safety, health benefits, regulatory compliance and market demand. By incorporating green solvents into their extraction processes, companies can enhance the sustainability and environment friendliness of their product while meeting consumer ex expectations for safer and more sustainable alternatives. Best methods of extraction of natural dyes of course is maceration and sock slit and I will quickly go to this simple process which is the simplest method of just soaking the material into a suitable solvent and then macerating it and extracting the dye in a water soluble material and flowers, leaves and roots can be macerated and extracted very well. The right choice of course of extraction is that you know one can use enzyme assisted or pervalized solvent extraction. These methods I have discussed already in details. So, we will wind up here and thank you for your attention.